Hello and welcome back to The Note. It continues to be very difficult to talk or think about markets when the news about the geopolitical situation, the uh, terrorist outrages in Paris, is still so fresh. However, markets don't seem to be so squeamish. We saw a remarkable rally in the circumstances across European stock markets today, particularly in France. Meanwhile, here in the States, the uh, S&P turned down in the afternoon, but nothing too dramatic. The key difference between those two markets being, of course, that the uh, European markets closed before the very alarming news about a suspected planned terrorist attack in Hanover came across the wires while uh, that happened, while US stock markets were still trading. More broadly, away from the stock markets, I suspect that the most significant markets for us to be looking at at this point are for metals. Now, if we take a look at gold, it had a very sharp sell-off today. It is now down about 10% from a high it gained after a rebound uh, about a month ago. It's now at a new low for the year, and as you can see, it's locked into quite a significant downtrend. You would normally expect gold to benefit from safe haven buying when people are worried about the geopolitical situation. At this point, people plainly aren't worried about that. Instead, the strength of the dollar, which goes with the belief that uh, the Fed will be raising rates, is helping to push gold down. Now, if we take a look at a very different metal, copper, arguably the most important of the industrial metals, that's also had another sell-off today. It's now at a fresh post-crisis low, barely any higher than it was a decade ago. Think of all the growth that China has managed in the interim. It's not good to push copper prices up, plainly showing continued very great concerns about the world's industrial or manufacturing economy. You could also put this together with further falls for foreign exchange uh, of the uh, emerging markets and continued strength in the dollar. There are a number of areas where uh, the pressure on the Fed not to raise rates, where the concern that there may be some kind of an emerging market crisis could be building. There is also a belief, uh, which is helping to buoy stock markets, that the latest geopolitical news could give central banks a get out of jail free cars an excuse not to raise rates if there's a period of high uncertainty then there's, there's always a good justification not to raise rates hence we have this rather strange picture where markets such as uh, industrial metals or foreign exchange are suggesting very difficult problems when it comes to attempting to raise rates while stock markets are showing equanimity as is in many ways the gold price you could argue, and I might agree, that this is really rather worryingly uh, relaxed attitude by markets to some very scary news.